Good morning, it's Robbie from Southern California and I have been working in my garden. I've actually been working in my bird garden. Today, I'm gonna to do a simple vlog just on one subject, tool. No, that's not the way you put it up, but I did. Let me tell you something. If you are having any rodent issues, any bird issues, it is absolutely the best $10 you'll ever spend on buying this stuff. No. This back half of the garden, I think a lot of you already know, somebody dumped raccoons, and now we find out it's skunks and possums, and well, that's not gonna happen by them anymore, but I don't know what other people are gonna do. But in the meantime, the biggest problem, I don't worry about skunks too much, are actually the ground squirrels. A little bit with the tree squirrels, but the ground squirrels are the worst. We don't have a lot of rats out here. Rats don't like open areas. See, it's all open here. You got the house and the cars. Let me sit down for a minute and explain that. Rats don't like to be out in the open. So though there may be rats around, we all have rats there in the cities and everything, our biggest problem is ground squirrels. Now, when I first started the garden a few weeks ago, oh, it was horrible. The ground squirrels would come down. I actually had them on film. They were going into the totes. They were chewing up my baby plants I was planting. They were getting into everything as soon as some zucchini started to grow there. They started making holes in them, then they were having a feast. I don't mind a little bit, but hey, I'm putting out a lot of work and I want to continue on down. I'm going to start that anytime, but I got this part done, the cardboard boxes, and then all the totes here on the chairs and on the ground. And I was not going to put up with that. So I made those lids and those tops, which absolutely work fantastic. I've got videos on that. You'd make them out of tote lids and that will keep them out. Then they got into the box garden and that's where they started going through the squash. So I didn't have time. And as you can see, I came out here with my bolt and I just strung it along there. I keep telling you I'm gonna put it up better, but I don't know if I'm even gonna bother right now. It kept them out. Every place I dropped tool, they left. Then they wreaked habit on my truck bed. I am working out here, coming out here the next morning or in the afternoon, sometimes in the afternoon after I worked, and my squasher chewed to the nub. So here I climbed in the truck bed and all I did was a simple string around. This has been done now, I'm gonna say almost a week ago. I think tomorrow will be a week. All I did was just string it around. Gary had put the, this rebar and it was just simply a little bit of zip tie, nothing with nothing. I left it, it was folded in half. This is actually half. It's 54 inches wide, so it's only half. I did not unfold it and I just started over there so I can service it. This is where it's close pinned. Just simple close pin with some tomato steaks. Went all the way around, climbed in there. That was the hardest part of all is climbing in there. And just went all the way around. And here it's close pinned. It's zip tied in the back where Gary put that wire up last year. And let me tell you something, not one squirrel. I'd expected one to try it. Not one ground squirrel has gone in there. And look at this. I'm so excited. This is the shark fin melon. Um, those three don't have anything in it yet. I haven't planted anything in those three, but I'm going to do spaghetti squash since I have so much. This is spaghetti squash. That could be, oh no, no, that's not, it could be snail damage. I didn't do much with the snails, but I got rid of the ones I found and they haven't come back in any more snails. They usually climb up the side. Snails are not thrilled with tool either. It's worth a try. And this was the one that they chewed to the nub. I had actually got that one. The nursery gave it to me. That was the butternut squash and they chewed it to the ground but look at that it's coming back so we'll see and then that's um zucchini hybrid i believe so i'm gonna get something back there unless they do kabocha and i've got some other squash i'm starting i'm trying to do vining squash here and then doing non-vining squash the ones that don't leave in the totes over there kind of that's the way i'm trying to organize myself but it doesn't mean i'm organized and then of course now that there's no squirrels or anything look at this that is a field of swiss chard it's not that I want it in there, but I'll leave it. I'm going to harvest it and eat it. So what it is, is why in the world, let me, I'm going to sit down again. Isn't it beautiful out here today? I've been watching the goldfinches take their babies around, multiple pairs, and they're showing their babies food and stuff. 
what it is is the squirrel will maybe take a leap and try to jump on it and the moment they get their nails in it think of their nails they're super fine look at your dog's nails they're really big right think of a cat's nails they're super fine well that's how their nails are and when they touch the tool they just touch it it gets caught on the tip of their nail and they get scared. They don't, they can't get stuck in it. It can't hurt them at all. It doesn't hurt birds either because birds land on it and then they leave. And I'm not trying to get birds out of there or I would have put it across the top. I'm just dealing with the critters right now. So the moment they get their nails stuck, they go, oh my gosh, this is a trap. I gotta leave. This is not the place to be. And it's fantastic, they left. So that should do really good. And I may be able to just leave it tooled like that. I was going to put some stakes around the two areas where the cardboard boxes are, and right now it's just draped. Now, it's possible they may not come back because they have a memory of the tool there and them getting their little nails stuck in it. And they might say, no, this is dangerous. Why should we go here? We'll go somewhere else. So it has worked fantastic. So anybody that's got questions about it, just try it. You know, I buy mine on eBay. Yes, Amazon's got it. I'm, you, you can go to Joann's fabric store. You ask for tool. It's the netting that they do wedding dresses out of and all that. I can date myself and say slips. It, it's a simple material to get. Now, if you go to Joann's or go to a fabric store, it could run you a couple bucks a yard, which is cheap compared to what fabric sells for. But I get it on eBay. I have nothing to do with them. I do have an affiliated link under there and you can use it or not. But the thing is, I love them because they're they're in California. They ship fairly quick, 54 inches wide by 40 yards. That's what this bolt is, 40 yards. I went nuts and I bought like 20 of them or 30 of them. And Carrie said, you do know you still have about 20 left. I know because it goes so far. I've gotten green, I've got pink. I've got white, I love black. Black is really good. If you put black, you don't see it at all. See, the lighter you go, the more you'll see it. It's perfectly fine. Color means nothing. You're gonna keep them away no matter what color you use. But if you use dark green or black or anything really dark, it just disappears. I started buying black lately. It does fade a little bit. Look, this is old. I used some old tool first and then I went and got other tools. So it can fade a little bit, but let me tell you something. This tool, it's kind of a nylon, it will last for years. I have so many uses for it besides this. I'm just crazy about it. I should have stocks in it, but I don't have any stocks. But just simply by draping it and just putting, look at this, I even put tape on that masking. Not, yeah, I put the masking tape on that. I put a clothespin there because the squirrel came along the front and I watched him, he was hopping in. Well, now he's not gonna hop in. He's like, oh, I don't want to touch that stuff. She's going to trap me. They're going to catch me. They're going to eat me. So they leave. That's all I had to do was drape it. Even here, I make these hoods and the plants got too big for the hoods. So I'm going to put them in the house. I don't really want to leave them outside because they don't want them to, you know, deteriorate out here. But just having it hang on the front like that, they leap up and they touch it. They haven't wanted to go in just laying on the ground there. That little bit. Just the idea they don't want to touch it. Rabbits don't want to touch it either. So it works for rabbits, it works for rats, it works for mice. It, like I said, it's been eaten, of course, all your squirrels and even snails. I've tried it, they don't like crossing it. They'll cross it if they have to. We'll see what happens here. Last year, I don't know if I had to put any on. They don't tend to go too much to the chair garden. But if they do, drape a little bit of tool on something you've got elevated and leave it on for a week or two. Kind of like, sure, come on over, jump in, I'll get you. They don't know, and they touch it, and it's like, no, this is not the place to be. So that's the only update I wanna do is on the tool. Maybe I will straighten that out, make it look better. I don't know. I don't know, I haven't had any problems with them even trying to get in anymore. But the truck bed, I wanted to wait, because they were determined. It was like every day they were getting in there and just digging the dickens out of the truck bed. They were, eating the the squash I put in there and I was frustrated and I thought oh. and Gary says you're not gonna tool yes but I have to climb in so I climbed in but I did I got in there and I strung it around and it's been working fantastic once the plants take hold and they get big usually by then they don't do too much damage it's when they're so young and small and it doesn't take much to you know 
and the life of a tiny baby plant. But the bigger ones, if the birds come and chew on the leaves, I don't have a problem with that because the goldfinches have been bringing their babies. You'll know it's their babies because you'll have the mom and the dad, which is two, and then usually three or four babies following them. And they're all screaming and they sit on top of the leaves of the squash plant to eat the leaves a little bit, but I just love it. So try tool if you're having a problem with critters, it's worth it. And if you don't wanna go online and buy it on eBay or Amazon, I get mine on eBay, it's the best price I have ever seen. The more you buy, the cheaper it is too. So that's why I end up with so many because I usually buy them in four lots at a time. And then it's like $8 each or something. But you know, if you're not sure and you're growing a little bit, go to the store. You can sometimes you can find it at the thrift store. I actually found it once at a yard sale, a bag of it for like a quarter. But you know, go to the craft store and when you want to go to a fabric store and maybe buy a yard and try it and see what you think. Just buy one yard. It's worth it. So with that, I want you to all have a wonderful day. I'm going back to work. I'm working in my bird garden and I'm planting some flowers. Have a great day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.